Hello everyone there at Charter Home Health. My name is Charles Marini. I am uh, with, I work for uh, your lo local SEO professionals. Uh, we are a small company that helps small businesses pull in more clients throughout their local area. Um, I'm shooting this video as, uh, because I was doing a little bit of research um, in the Jenkintown area, looking for home care agencies in Jenkintown. Um, this is a typical search anyone would do if they were looking for home care agencies and we're in Jenkintown. Um, I notice you're not anywhere in the top uh, organic results or in this map pack area, which I'll get into in a few minutes, but you are down here in the ads. You have a advertisement, a Google ad, um, which is always a hit or miss. A lot of these, a lot of uh, people these days um, have ad blocker and they wouldn't be able to see you here. Organically, I know that you're ranking lower. And you're probably doing this because you're trying to get more business and be on the front page, which is important. Um, I was reading an article from Search Engine Journal. This was done in February this year. Uh, it says 90% of consumers, sorry, the percentage of consumers who use the internet to find a local business is 90%. That's huge. So if you're not, and according to statistics, about 70% of people click on the front page for their uh, whatever business they're looking for. So if you're not here, it's um, you're missing out on a lot of uh, the market, and your competitors are beating you. And I'm sure that's why you even have an ad here. And to be honest, because of uh, what I do, I can tell you probably do know about um, marketing, digital marketing, but uh, probably don't enough time have enough time to actually work on the website and therefore put an ad here, which is. Um, okay, you know, these are paper click, so, you know, a competitor can come and click on your website a number of times. Um, though, that's plain naughty, but that's always a risk. Anyway, why am I shooting this video? Like I said, I'm all about um, helping small businesses uh, pull in more clients. And usually business owners are too busy to actually go into what's involved in ranking your website. You know, that's why they would, you know, even take out ads. That's a very uh, fast way to be on the front page. Um, so, and also, there are a lot of SEO and digital marketers out there who are just in it for the money, really don't care about you making your money. And um, they'll do a job, show you what they've done, but you'll end up not really ranking up high. I wanted to actually prove myself, and I'm going to do that by giving you three tips that are um, free. You can t you can go ahead and use these tips, give them to your SEO or website person to implement and help you uh, dominate your competition online. Um, if you want to save time, I'm very open to uh, partnering with you and helping you get more clients in your, into your business and grow. Okay, so without wasting any more of your time or mine, uh, let's get started. The three things I want to talk about today are content, citations, and backlinks. Content, citation, and backlinks. Um, first thing is content. Uh, look at your front page. Um, content is generally is everything that you can see, all the text and all the pictures, how the pictures are saved, the words behind the pictures. Um, all of this is content. Google likes to see about 1,000 to 1,500 words on the page with authoritative, keyword-rich uh, content, meaning showing what you do, saying who you are, your services, where your loc uh, locations, and saturate that content with keywords, with important uh, keyword, with keywords that users or sorry people who are searching are going to type. For example, home care agency Jenkintown, that is a keyword, and um, such user so such by intent keywords are what you need to saturate this with. Uh, one interesting thing which a lot of people skip is how your images are saved. Uh, respite care, I would say respite care Jenkintown. Save it as a keyword rich um, name so that when Google scours the, the page, they recognize this and they, they, they see that you're more of an authority in this niche and rank you higher. All right, so that's key, uh, content. Next thing is citations, and that has to do with this map pack area over here in Google search, which is usually underneath the Google ads. So um, you can see there's also an ad here. This person is paying to be there. Um, if I had an ad, uh, if I had an ad blocker on, you probably wouldn't see that. However, um, how do you rank up here? How do you get here? Well, 
it's through what are known as citations. Um, citations are basically wherever your business is cited, your business name, exact name, exact address, and exact phone number cited in different directories across the internet. Uh, directories like Yelp, White Pages, Yellow Pages, Ava, um, yeah, uh, Better Business Bureau. The more you're cited in authoritative uh, directories, the higher you'll rank here. And just make sure that your name, um, address, and phone number are exactly as they appear across the web. And the last thing I want to talk about is uh, backlinks. Now, it's to do with this section down here, the organic search results. Uh, backlinks, so you can think of the internet as many, 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 many websites all linked together. A backlink would be where one website has your has a link to your page, so directing traffic to you. Um, that that's what a backlink is. Now, not all backlinks are made the same because if say um, a McDonald's forum about you know cheeseburgers or whatever is linking to your website, now Google knows those are two completely different uh, niches. They can tell um, through the algorithms and will rank that backlink a lot lower than if um, say a uh, home care agency in California uh, blogged about you and put their, your link on their website. That would count as a much stronger backlink. I have this tool, AREFs. It's a very popular tool. Um, and I it, it helps me, it helps people analyze websites. And I put yours in. I can tell that you have 50, 586 backlinks from 71 domains. Now, um, like I was saying, not all backlinks are created equal, and I can tell the majority of your backlinks are um, from a scale of 0 to 100, they're around 0 to 10, majority of them. Um, your competitor, the person who ranks first here, yeah, Comfort Keepers. Now, Comfort Keepers, it's a national office, national company, but we're trying to rank locally in Jenkintown, so I just grabbed the Jenkintown address. And I put it in here and I can tell they have uh, 1,000 backlinks from 25 domains. Now looking at the strength of the backlinks, they're spread out a little bit more. So the intent would, would be to have more backlinks with higher strength, more authoritative backlinks. Now I can go into the referring domains and I'll look at them. Um, Montgomery County Alive, that's, that's very, um, very much according to what they do. Um, so I can see, I mean, traveltips.net, that isn't a really good uh, backlink, but um, I can see that they have, the backlinks are kind of, authority. let's look at your backlinks, your referring domains, I'm sorry. Now, there may be more, but if you look at this, there are, there are a lot of blogs with uh, very little strength. The domain ratings are very very little strength so even if they may be very many you know like website peru.com I'm not sure if that has anything to do with what you're doing so Google can tell that oh this this person has a lot of uh, backlinks that kind of look like spam and you rank lower whereas your com your competitor comfort keepers you can see the domain rating they're a lot higher than than yours were. So that's what I meant when I said not all backlinks are created equal. So it would be um, it would be helpful for you guys to go through your backlinks, even go through your competitors, get the same backlinks, and then get more authoritative backlinks and remove the spammy ones. Um, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks for watching this this uh, thus far. Um, once again, the three things, content, citation, and, black, and backlinks, um, feel free to use, use these tips, implement them, and hopefully get more clients into your business. Um, if you'd like to discuss more further, my phone number is 215-770-1621, and my email address is charles at yourlocalseopros.com. Thank you, and have a great day.